So hello everyone, uh, this is Shalia Stevens and Will Morgan and today we're talking to Francesca um, about the fact that we are built for this and the challenges of COVID-19 and pandemic and the challenges of lockdown um, and also specifically in, in this conversation with Francesca about what can happen, what we can do as humans that's innate to all of us around the challenges when our business is in an industry where it no longer works in the way that it used to. So, Francesca, tell us a bit about your story. Hi, um, my story, my story. Sorry, I just need to get rid of um, a window. Um, I, as you know, I own um, some restaurants. And um, that is one of the industries that, that has been hit the most. I also own a language school, which is another industry that's been completely depleted and is at the moment non-existent. Um, when this happened in the UK, I had already been watching this film in uh, as, as a, I was following what was happening with... Um, COVID-19 in Italy. And um, so I had already been um, preparing. Well, what happened was that the two weeks previous to um, when everything kicked off in England was the time when I was being, um, I was exercising my human right to panic. <laughs> 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 so I did all my panicking um before everybody else here and um when uh, when they told us to close the restaurants when we were told to close the restaurants i was thinking what can i do what can i do to to help um because i knew that my income wouldn't exist i didn't really worry um i don't know maybe by um having come across this understanding, I've learned to be less worried about the future, about sticking to what I see now. Um, I take life, as Wynne knows, like a big multi-level game. Um, I believe that all of us are born with the ability, uh, with the skills that we need to be alive. It's like we've We've been thrown on earth with just one set of instructions that says, just go out there and experience everything that comes to you. Um, and this is part of it. It's no different. It's no different from, you know, having a successful business that uh, um, doesn't give you any big challenges. Um, it, it's, it's like, a, you know, a, a bad personal experience. It's just, this is just shared commonly by everyone. Um, and I always try to look for the excitement. What, what is exciting? What can come out of this that can help everybody? And I could see straight away how people were coming together, how the barriers of uh, the me and you were completely disappearing. Um, groups were creating to see how we could help um, the people that were forced to stay indoor. Um, I joined some of these groups and, um, and while my um, ex-husband and business partner was in, uh, in his panic state thinking, oh, we've, we need to close everything. We, we, we can't afford to pay anybody. We need to sack everybody. I just said, but you don't know what's happening yet. So just live the moment right now. Don't do anything. And luckily we didn't do anything. We just let it run for a, for a few days until the general panic settled. Um, and then you could start see what, what to do. I mean, I thought people can't come out to eat. They can't come to a restaurant. They can't travel. They're stuck at home. Um, sometimes it might be nice for them to have to 
rebuild that restaurant experience in their own home. So I believed that it was the right thing to do at the time to stay open. And uh, because we, um, we had this new scheme that came in, luckily, when the, when the new scheme to help all the employees um, became available, most of the pe people I, I knew in the restaurant industry had let all the staff go. And uh, I don't know why, but my instinct told me that the, the government would do something. They couldn't just let an industry die like that. And I was thinking, I can't not try everything else before I let everyone go because I knew that it would be so hard for people to survive. You know, I, I was thinking, what do we do? How can we help each other? So I thought, well, first of all, nobody will starve because we'll give them all the food that's in the restaurant. So they, you know, all, all the people that work with, with us, because I could think of my small world first and then, and then it became bigger and bigger, just naturally, it was a natural um, expansion. And then just things fell in place. It just happened. I didn't have to do anything. And I knew I didn't have to do anything. And by not doing anything, the work was done for, for me. I was just there to create um, the space for it to happen. I was silent. I, I Actually, I, I went quite silent, which is um, not usual for me. <laughs> And I realized because the people are, are telling me, well, where have you gone? Why, why don't we talk? We haven't spoken for, for two weeks. Um, and it's true. I, I, I've never sp spent so much time without talking to my friends. To, I just felt the need to be, to be quiet. And I thought, this is you know, the best place to um, live my understanding of life my game, my playfulness. I know what to do. I, I, I have never forgotten how to be a child. My best memories of life are in a kindergarten. And uh, I think life is just that. It's just like a big ki kindergarten. And when we keep that wonder, sometimes when we grow up, we think too much. <laughs> and um, we let whatever we think is the is life experience, which is nothing but what is happening outside, um, take over our, our thinking and we take life too seriously. And I'm not saying that, you know, what, what is happening is not serious, but it's an experience like any other. And I have felt really sad to see what is happening and to see all the people that are dying. But sometimes I think, now there's this focus on all this death. People are dying constantly all the time. There is nothing different. Maybe the numbers have slightly changed. Maybe more people are, are dying in these circumstances other than car crashes, other than... Um, and I feel sad when I think that these people are not there to play with us anymore. But this is what life is. And to feel sad is good because it's part of the game. It's part of um, being alive is what we need to do. So our choice is, do we, let, do we let ourselves be sucked in by the outside experience and shut down in fear? Because fear is always... Um, a jail. Um, fear is what is stopping everybody because being locked in a house is not a, you know, a, a sentence to lose your freedom. You can be free in jail and your mind 
is such a beautiful, beautiful tool to explore. And when I've, I went quiet, I saw so many things that I could do just in, in my area. So we never closed the restaurants. We put in, pleasure, in, in place the measures to change, to change completely the business around. And, um, and I've let people know in every way I had that we were there for them, that we were still creating joy. Uh, for them, and um, and 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 things changed. I mean, I realise now how exciting it gets for me to see. At the end of the day, I I know we, we're just surviving. I mean, the business is not thriving, but I'm not worried one bit. I know things will change again, and things will explode from. Uh, the creation from the power of creation and something good will come out of it. And I don't mean necessarily financially um, because since this has happened, um, everything has fallen into place. I mean, the government has given us money to help us. And uh, I think that money needs to be put back in there. It's not for us. It needs to be put back in there to help um, renew society. Um, our landlords have been so kind. They've given us uh, free rent periods. And that is it's, it's worth quite a lot of money. And they didn't have to do that. But it was beautiful to see that they wanted to help as well. And so it's just what I see now is such a beautiful wave of love. And first of all, I could see my own little space. And then I saw that that wave is just coming from everywhere and it's not going from me to outside. It's going from every direction, inside, outside. It's just covering every, it's just, um, it's, it's not, it's, I, I can't explain because I can't explain in words what I see and the joy that this is bringing to the world. And it's strange to say this in these circumstances where people that can't see this um, are probably going to look at me and say, you've, you've lost it, you're completely insane. <laughs> but if I can say to somebody, how would you rather live? Would you ra rather live in fear? Or would, you like, or would you rather be free? Because if you're free, it doesn't matter how much money you earn. Um, things will work out for you, no matter what. Things will always work out because you're not the one that's in charge of the rules. You're only in, you're only you're only a, a traveler. You're only in this space because you've somehow. Um, the conditions were created for us to be here. And, um, and I think it's so beautiful to understand that and to see that because um, it's, um, it's what gives us freedom. The idea that all this happens and you don't have to, you know, to sit down and cry because this is the end. Because it's not the end, it's just a change. It's just a new challenge. It's just new instructions have been thrown at us and do what you can. Um, experience. And I think from this space, uh, my businesses are doing quite well. I, re I've, I closed one of the shops. I reopened it. Um, again, it's not making any money, but I'm having so much fun. It's, it's, is surviving, but I'm having so much fun because I had forgotten what it was like to, to go back to where I started, you know, to be the one making ice cream, um, to be the one uh, potting all this ice cream. And what I'm doing now, uh, the, the ice cream shop was closed because it was non-essential in my opinion at the beginning. Then I thought, that was not true. Ice cream is happy. 
you know, so what can I do to make ice cream happy? So we have all these platforms that help us um, to take orders. But I also thought that for every person that buys a pizza or um, buys from our other restaurant, um, we give two little pots of ice cream and uh, with a little note. And I think if that can put a smile on somebody. I, I mean, ice cream isn't, you know, it doesn't cost us very much to make. It's fun. And uh, I'm really having, so I'm working more than I've ever worked in my life. I, honestly, I cannot believe how much work, physical work is involved in this because I have to pot all the ice and prepare all the boxes, um, make the ice cream, um, call my, because my mum is the ice cream maker and she's obviously stuck in Italy. Um, so she's on video call telling us what to do. <laughs> and it's so fun. It's, it's connecting me with my parents. Um, they're not feeling so... Um, isolated because um, they, they've been locked in for seven weeks now. They haven't been out for seven weeks and that's hard. <laughs> I actually did think if Corona doesn't kill them, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised if they kill each other, but they're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've, been, they've been bickering for the last 50 years so I guess they were prepared. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so really, it's for me, it's been to look for fun. And because if you look for fun, then you, you don't take yourself so seriously. You don't take the outside so seriously. And that's still there. I mean, it's still there. What changes is you, your understanding of it. Nothing, you know, whether I'm laughing or whether I'm crying, nothing changes. So I might as well do something that puts me in a state that helps me create something that's good, not just for me, but for everybody or for as far as I can reach. So that's, that's what I see. Lovely. I didn't even start to think about the, the travel business because that one I buried. I said, we just, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Play with the, the, other, the other toys. <laughs> so how many uh, pizza restaurants and ice cream shops did you have and, and what, what format are they in right now? Okay, so I have two pizza restaurants, like a baby chain, one in Bath and one in Cardiff, and uh, one Italian restaurant. So these three are still open for deliveries and, and takeaways. Um, the Italian restaurants, we've just adjusted it a bit. I've added some things on the menu like um, gourmet burgers. And I thought what people want, you know, it's difficult to make a steak travel. Mm. So I, I adjusted the menu. I, I, I tweaked a few things. Um, we also have a, a steak a steakhouse. That though we closed down. I, I thought it's better to concentrate on something that might work um, and just let the, the rest stay. Um, and then I have one ice cream shop and uh, another one that just another unit that is multifunction. So it opens in the summer as an ice cream shop and in the winter as a mold wine um, shop. Um, and so we had to keep some playing and some we've put to bed for the minute. They'll come back to play eventually. And uh, we're constantly, I, I, I just, I, because I'm having fun, because I'm not taking myself seriously, um, I, I, I can see so many things that I can do. I've already got this, the idea for a new business. We've already applied for another, um, uh, for some other premises. I've seen so, the city is empty. And so you can see things you've never seen before. And I'm lucky because I'm not stuck at home because I'm going to work. So I can observe the outside as well. 
And it's just so incredible to know how many opportunities there are if you just let yourself see them. That's why I say to everybody that the only thing I, I can say is just remember when you were a child, just think of, you know, being in Disneyland because life is that. Just don't look from outside, just go in and play. Because when you're having fun, magic happens and really, really magic happens. I've seen some incredible things happening that I wasn't expecting. And that just tells me, you know, I'm just traveling. I don't have to do anything. Well, that's just great, Francesca. Thanks so much for sharing. I mean, the whole notion of a business in your industry keeping going, but also having more joy for your customers, given what you're able to do. And those ideas coming from a sense of fun, um, from you know, fear to, to free to fun, and then to magic. Beautiful. Charlie, was there anything that you wanted to ask or say? No, I have no questions. Francesca said everything from, from her heart. And I just thought this was the most beautiful interview and uh, so unexpected. I, 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 I don't know what I expected you to say, but and, uh, that you're having fun during this crisis with all of the, you know, what it looks like a lot of responsibility um, for, for people in these places. And, and I, I just love taking the next instructions. And here we go. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. It's going to be such an inspiration for other people to listen to this and your, your view on life. So yeah, that's all I have to say about it. We can close out if you like, Wim. Thank you. It was oh, so lo Grazie mille. Grazie mille. <laughs> it was so lovely to see both of you. It's yeah. really nice. Take care and back to the ice cream. I will. <laughs> Actually, Keep that's what I'm going. Enjoy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Grazie, ciao. Ciao. Ciao.